Hello YouTube and classical literary fans all over the world. Today I am sharing with you a light box I had made. Uh, I just finished this not too long ago. I was working on a couple uh, literary light boxes that I'm going to be donating to my local library. And uh, this is one of them. I'm sure you probably don't need to be introduced to the white whale known as Moby Dick. I think we are all probably aware of that. Uh, we've got a little plaque down here, of course, saying Moby Dick and uh, Herman Melville in the year it was published, 1851. And then if you scan up, you can go underneath the water here. There's a big old wave that is carrying this monstrous white whale to land on top of the Pequod. I actually call this the uh, Pequod's final breath, or the final moments of the Pequod. Because, uh, uh, as you can tell, when he lands, it's probably not going to go so well for that ship. But, uh, yeah, so, I've been, uh, I like to make stuff out of toys and, you know, kind of found objects and things. And this whale actually is a, uh, is a toy from Safari, you know, who makes, you know, figures and things. And this is a little, uh, metal model ship here. And all the, uh, waves and everything else that you see, uh, crashing around him and the clouds and everything are actually made from, uh, recycled storage tubs that I've melted and, and uh, sculpted into these shapes here. But it's uh, kind of cool because you can go uh, you know, inside here and get close to the waves. Play little Moby Dick splashing up through the waves there. Go here. Yeah, I feel like this is uh, with the light on here. You can turn the lights off and you can get a even better sense of how much it glows. This thing really, really is lit up well. So let's give that a try. There, here it is in the dark. Well, then, you know, the uh, frame has kind of disappeared and you can really see this. And at certain angles, and certain lights, this really looks like a painting from afar. So I don't know if it's coming across in the video or not, but it's, a, it's kind of a really neat effect here. And you can kind of see from the side here. This is from the side of the box. And you can come around. I was really pleased with the uh, movement and the way that you know this all kind of came out. This is one of the first times I've worked with the uh, melted plastic like this, so it's kind of a neat experiment. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Feel free to leave a comment and uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, they'll enjoy these at the uh, library. I hope that uh, kids will get to sit there and, and just wonder about the little worlds that are in front of them and imagine the little worlds that they can discover inside books so thanks guys for watching i hope you enjoyed